Left stick drilling. It's a highly requested tutorial on the channel and I feel you lads. FIFA 22 just isn't cut out for that left stick this year. However, I have a few techniques that can help you overcome the challenges of dribbling as well as how to utilize these techniques in game in FIFA 22. So this is my complete guide to left stick dribbling in FIFA 22. Three men, three men around him to somehow find some space for another fantastic opening the drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. Almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for this first segment is what not to do with dribbling in FIFA 22. One thing that I'm sure many of you aren't aware of this year is the fact that dribbling has changed. And what I mean by that is when you dribble with the left stick, usually in previous years, you would roll the stick and that would be really responsive and you were able to dribble quite well with the left stick. However, what you're meant to do this year in FIFA 22 is chop the left stick. What I find is the player is a lot more responsive when you chop with the left stick. You're not rolling, you're chopping in the directions that you want to left stick dribble in FIFA 22 and I find their movements are a lot cleaner, they're a lot quicker in the execution and you're able to have a lot more control with your player when you utilize this technique. Maintaining small movements. This is very, very crucial. And although I said the best way to dribble this year is by chopping, you need to keep those relatively small to keep the ball in tight to your attacker. Now, why I say small movements is because when you're in situations where there's a lot of defenders around you and you need to stick to the small gaps, whether that's in the box, in the midfield, or out on the wing, then small movements are going to benefit you. And the way you do that is just by slightly chopping the left stick in the directions that you want instead of really just flicking it everywhere. Okay, and that will allow you to keep a lot more control with the ball with let stick dribbling in FIFA 22 waiting for the defender to commit too much. This is a very, very useful way of beating a defender with left stick dribbling. What I mean by that is you need to stick with the chopping motion with the left stick. You also need to stick with small motions, okay, with the left stick so that you can dribble and weave in and out of where the defender is whilst you're waiting for him to commit too much. And once that defender has committed too much, you can then maybe dribble into the direction or into the space that he is now left open, or you could tap the R2 button to burst off into the available space or in behind. This is very, very vital for out on the wing as well as inside the bots, but they are later segments on this dribbling tutorial. However, a very key thing, lads, is waiting for the defender to commit too much and you need to look out for that. Keeping your back to your opponent. This is a very, very useful way of utilizing all of the techniques that I've just taught you in FIFA 22 to lose a defender, whether it's in the bots, whether it's just outside the 18 yard bots, or whether it's on the wing. What you can do is you can have your back facing towards the defender. You can then weave in and out and again, wait for him to commit a little bit too much to either the left or to the right, and then you can utilize the space that you've opened up to then cut either side to where the space is. This is also a very good way of drawing a defender out, a center back out if you need to, and which will allow you to open up a lot of space in behind. And that is exactly why it's a very useful technique, especially also on the wing. If you're on the wing, go towards the sideline, keep your back towards your opponent, weave in and out, and then once he's committed too much and the space is open, burst off with the R2 button and then you'll be in behind. And it's a very, very good way of number one, beating an opponent, number two, getting in behind, and number three, creating a space and gaps because obviously he's committing that defender towards you. What does that mean? There's a lot more space opening up for you to then thread a through ball through or continue running along. Beating your opponent on the wing with left stick dribbling. This kind of goes into the previous segment that I've just taught you. However, it's very important that you guys yet again utilize the techniques I've taught you to beat an opponent on the wing and leave him in the dust so that you can continue running along. The way you do that is you're zigzagging in and out. You can utilize techniques such as keeping your back towards the opponent. And what you want to do is to do little tiny movements, left, right, left, right. And once the opponent is going with you, he's going left, right, left, right with the jockey in motion, to try and read where you're gonna go. Once he's committed either too far to the left or too far to the right, burst off with the R2 button down the wing and you're able to continue running along. This is a very, very good technique of burning the wing bats in FIFA 22. Beating the defender 
inside the box. This is a technique that I utilize a lot in FIFA 22 to burn that defender open up the space and the angle to get the shot off. Now, when you've received the ball with your attacker, what you're gonna be wanting to do is hold either left or right to where the player is facing, and that will determine what way you're gonna take a touch. So if you take a touch to the right, what you're then wanting to do is chop back to the left, and then yet again, once you've taken the ball to the left, you're then wanting to chop back to the right where you originally took a touch to burn that defender and get a shot off. So again, you're taking a touch one way, you're then going the opposite way, and then you're taking the ball yet again to the same way that you took a touch to burn that defender and get a shot off. Because if you take a touch to either side, he's gonna think that you're gonna take a shot. No, you hit him with a turn, you go to the opposite way. He then thinks, okay, he's gonna take another shot. No, you then turn back to the original side that you took and then you can get that shot off because more likely than not, 90% of the time, the defender will have been burnt and you have opened up that gap, opened up that space and the angle to get the shot off. Utilizing left stick dribbling to beat a defender in the midfield. Very, very effective way of opening up space and continuing on with your counter attack in FIFA 22. What I find the best way of doing this is, is basically doing a left right. Not a left and right than left, like I told you in the bots, but a left right. So it's a bang bang. And what will happen is your defender will commit the way that you originally went, and then you want to quickly go to the opposite way to burst off into the space that's opened up. And the way you burst off is by just tapping that R2 button and you're Able to get away from the defender. So unlike in the bots where it's a zigzag in the midfield, it's a bang bang. It's like a left right or a right left and you more likely than not will beat that defender. Now again, you can utilize techniques such as keeping your back towards the defender to do this because sometimes he might be putting a lot more pressure on you and he's quite close to you. So you need to turn around, go left, right and then burst off into the space that's opened up. Utilizing left stick dribbling in the defense. It takes into account the second segment on keeping your back towards the opponent. It also takes into account the left right motion like I taught you in the midfield. What you're gonna be wanting to do is basically keep your back towards the opponent who is putting pressure on you with his attacker and you have the ball at the feet of your center back. You wanna be keeping your back towards him, maybe even holding shield a little bit just to prevent him from getting it and then let go of shield, dribble left and right or right or left to burn that defender. He thinks he's gonna go to the right so he commits that way but no you go back to the left and you're able to pass it out to your wing back and basically start a counter attack it's a very very good way of not getting caught out in the back and you're able to utilize left stick dribbling to your advantage this year to get away from the opponent when he's putting a lot of pressure on you in the defensive half Rounding the keeper with left stick dribbling. Lads, we need to find ways of scoring this year that prevent the keeper from making a save because of how overpowered they are. And the way we can overcome this is by dribbling around the keeper. What you're gonna be wanting to do here in one-on-one -on -one situations is basically once the keeper has committed towards you, you then want to go either left or either right. So you're chopping bang bang around the keeper and I find around 70 to 80% of the time the keeper will dive down randomly. It's not a very good animation this year. The keeper will more likely than not dive down and miss the ball and you're able to have an easy tap in and you can utilize those techniques like I told you the chopping motion as well as a small movement motion with your left stick to basically beat that keeper and get an easy tap in. So there you have it lads, that is my complete guide to left stick dribbling in FIFA 22. It's not a complete guide to dribbling, that's coming within the next couple of weeks, but it's left stick dribbling, okay? It's not taking into account strafe or agile dribbling, it's left stick dribbling. And I hope you found something useful in this tutorial, and if you haven't already, subscribe and like the video, I'd much appreciate that lads. And also, check me out on Instagram and TikTok, I'm doing tutorials over there. So go and check me out as I'll be grinding over there as well as YouTube this year in FIFA 22 but as always I hope you have a good day I'm out sign our au revoir adios and goodbye